What is going on, everybody? Thank you so much for joining me today for episode number 49 of the Car 5 Podcast. I'm your host, Joshua. For today's episode, we're going to be talking about, or speculating really, on the brand new version of the Corvette, the C8. So as usual, everyone, let's go ahead and just dive right into things. So what's going on with this new Corvette? There's just so much speculations and ideas and renderings and thoughts and everyone's really just trying to figure out what's going on because Chevrolet and GM, they haven't really released too much, which is what's kind of cool because it's kind of the mystery. Well, this is kind of a big deal. Uh, there's many people out there in the world, especially in the United States, that consider the Corvette to be the greatest sports car of all time. It's fast, it's light, it's agile. Um, for the most part, it can handle very well. It's sleek, it's a two-seater. It's one of the American sports cars that everyone loves. So this new C8 is a very big deal. But do we know anything? Well, we will soon because the car is meant to debut on July 18th of 2019, which is just over a month from now. But let's see what we can figure out or what we can think of currently. So starting with looks, um, this is just my personal opinion. It's kind of like McLaren-ish, if you will, maybe. Um, I'm looking at some of the photos right now. You can definitely tell compared to the previous version Corvette, the C7, the taillights and the headlights, they're a lot more edgier and sharper, more angular, I guess you'll call it, maybe a little bit more aggressive. Um, the entire car design, it's, it's a redesign. Everything's new. There's nothing the same. And it's just, I mean, my, see, me even saying McLaren-ish is maybe pushing it a little bit. I don't know. It's just different. I mean, looking at it from the side, I get a feel of kind of like 720S, maybe. Um, front, maybe 720, 570. I don't know. It's just, it's so different and so all over the place. It kind of looks like other things. But... I mean, let me know what you guys think. What do you think the, the rendering or the wrapped version of the C8 Corvette looks like? I mean, looks is entirely different. You know, pricing-wise, we have some pretty accurate speculations, and I think this is pretty good. So Corvettes can be anywhere from, you know, around the $60,000 mark all the way up to well over 120000 That's going to be your base Corvette going all the way through up to the top end version of the ZR1. Of course, that's depending on, on your specs as well as how you decide to make it. Now, the new one, um, according to Haggerty, is the C8 is going to start around a similar price range of the 60000 base model range, which would seem appropriate, but the top end being upwards of $170,000, an absolutely huge price bump. So that's one thing that's definitely different. But with that price range, what else can you get? That's going to put you in 911 turbo category. That's going to put you, if you want to stretch it just a little bit, a McLaren 570S uh, category. You can get AMG GTR category from Mercedes. There's a lot of cars to buy. So that's one thing is if they're going to push that $170,000 mark, it's got to perform, and that's one thing that's vital for a Corvette, Corvette is its performance. So what do we know about the performance of this new one? Well, again, Chevrolet and GM, in regards to this aspect, haven't released anything except for maybe a little nibble or two. Um, starting V8, I think, is going to be around the 500 horsepower mark, because if you look at the C6, it started at 430. Go next generation C7, it started at 455 upon official review. So there is some jumping increments going on with generations. I'm going to say it's going to be just under the 500 horsepower mark. Say 480. We'll say, I'll say 485. I'm officially saying a car is going to have 485 horsepower. Um, thinking it is going to be a twin turbocharged uh, V8 um, for the next level up car. I mean... Gosh, there's just not there's just not a whole lot. 
Um, there is additional speculation that the cars, that the upgraded model, basically maybe the Z06 version is going to have 650 horsepower, but the very top end one, the ZR1 replacement, if you will, is expected to have 850, which is also going to be through a twin turbocharged V8. And again, none of these speculations are confirmed, they're just thoughts, they're ideas, but if you really think about it, they kind of make sense in regards to price points and how... Chevrolet has increased the generational horsepower with each Corvette that comes out. I mean, until then, um, we kind of just have to wait and see until July 18th. But we do know there is a brand new logo they have put on the Corvette. It's pretty cool. You can see it in the thumbnail um, if you're watching on YouTube. But ladies and gentlemen, in regards to having um, more facts about the, the new uh, Corvette C8, that's all we really know again it's more along the lines of just speculations but that's what kind of makes this one pretty cool because it's getting the hype up a little bit we're all really excited to see and it is very different i truthfully do believe it's going to take some time to win over the crowds and once it unveils because me personally um i like corvettes they're cool i'm not a diehard corvette fan but i do like a nice looking vet and even for me um I don't know. I might, I'm might. i going to have to see it in person to see how I really feel about it. But from what I've seen online, it's like 50-50. Some people are like, oh my god, this is the greatest Corvette looking ever. Some people are looking at it like, yeah, that's not a Corvette. So until July 18th, uh, we don't know. <laughs> we'll have to find out more. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for episode number 49 of the C8 Corvette. Don't forget to follow on Instagram, like on Facebook. If you guys are listening to the podcast and you want to check out the YouTube channel, head on over. Um, hit that subscribe button if you are watching. If you do like the video too, go ahead and hit a like. Anything you guys ever need from me, uh, don't hesitate to ask. Just shoot me an email, info at car5podcast.com. Don't forget to tune in June 19th for episode number 50. And we're going to be talking about how Aston Martin is saving the manual gearbox. So as usual, everyone, uh, thank you for stopping by. Uh, please remember to drive safe. Have a blessed evening. Thank you.